Okay, elbow up. Nice and high. You guys can thumb to thumb now. Thumb to thumb. Okay, go ahead and flip. Good. Okay, elbow up. Elbow up. Okay, maybe your thumb should be pointing right at the target, right? I'm the scene. Good. Now don't forget guys, you want to make sure your fingertips are on a seam. What's the seam do? Make the ball spin. Okay? You guys never throw the ball and get that little burn? That's what you want to get. Okay? You guys remember Josh Beckett? For the Red Sox? Josh Beckett used to get blisters a lot, okay? Because he caused so much friction when he caught those seams that once in a while he'd get that blister. Okay? If you guys want this ball to spin and you guys want to get velocity, you're going to make sure you, find, you, you feel that burn every time you throw the ball. Okay, we got that? Okay, you want that. Okay, elbow up nice and high. Spread your feet a little bit. Spread your feet out. Okay, ready? Flip. You need to throw the ball hard. No, because these, these you can do every single day. Because you're doing them at a short distance. Okay? And there's, a lot, there's not a lot of strain on your arm. Okay, it's not like pitching off a mound. Okay, so you can do these, okay, like half speed every day. Okay, and that's how you get the form down. Has everyone got it? And I'm huge on having straight lines. You gotta look good, you know? If you want to intimidate the other team doing the drills, you gotta look good doing it. Okay? So you gotta make sure you're straight. Okay, so we got the balls on the side, right? So, let's get our feet spread out. Get our four seat ball on top. Sure we tuck and we want to show the back of our throw and show it to our target. Okay? Or show your number to your target. Does everyone understand that? Right. High five. Up, 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 up. Okay, get extension here. Make yourself big. Extend. Good. Nice and high. Good. Extend. You guys ready? I want you guys to freeze when you're done. And tuck and throw. Okay. okay, and now I tuck, throw, and fall through, through. and we call this nose over toes. Okay, nose over toes. So as you can see, I finish like I started the, the, the first drill we just did. Good, okay, okay. Let's do our big arm circle, thumbs to thighs, high five center field. Okay, all your weight should be on your back leg. All your weight back here. Okay, good. Soft on your front toe, right? Everyone nice and soft. Nice and soft. Good. Nice and soft. Okay. Way back. back. Good. You guys got to learn when you're doing drills and when you're pitching to be loose. A lot of you guys are too tense. Loosen up. Relax. Okay. Relax. Good. See, I can tell right now you grip the ball too tight. Relax. Relax. Because when you grip the ball too tight, you put strain in your elbow. All right? Grip the ball tight. See the strain right there? You don't want strain on your elbow. Okay. Guys, ready? Want you guys to freeze when you're done. Okay? Ready? And go ahead, tuck and throw. Pretty good. Alright, you guys are the catchers now. Half circle and stride. The power. That's step two. And three is the tuck throw, fall throw. So we've done all these things already. Now we're just putting them together. Okay? So you guys ready? You guys copy what I do if you don't understand, okay? So I'm gonna take your right right foot, 
Okay, you guys are all righties over here. Start like I am. T toes facing your partner, okay? So step one, we're gonna pivot up, pivot our right foot, and point our front shoulder. Good. Two, we're gonna make our big arm circle, high five center field. Good, extension. And three, we're gonna tuck throw ball. Step, good, good, perfect. Two, big arm circle and stride. Go ahead, stride to power, good. Okay, wider feet, wider. Weight should be back still, right? Weight back, good. Nice and high, and tuck and throw. Good. On your heel, you can't transfer your weight forward. That's what a lot of pitchers tend to do, okay? You're also gonna hear me say, stay close with your front shoulder, okay? When you throw a baseball, you wanna release the ball nose over toes and out over your front leg. What prevents you from doing that a lot of times is when you're trying to throw the ball with some velocity and you overthrow, this front shoulder always wants to go towards first base. Just like a hitter who tries to pull his head a lot. Let him try, but they do, okay? So it's a constant battle for a pitcher to keep this front shoulder closed, okay? One way we can try to keep it closed is when we tuck our glove. Does everyone see that, okay? The other is when we throw a baseball, we don't want our shoulders, especially as a pitcher, to be on the same plane. You guys see this? If I do a line from this shoulder to this shoulder, okay, this ball is going to be high. You follow what I'm saying? The only time you don't want to throw like that is if you're playing third base, short stuff, and you're trying to throw the ball high at the first baseman's chest. You understand? But if I'm throwing down to a catcher, when I throw the baseball, I need this shoulder to go down. Does everyone see that? So I get up on top of the ball and get that arm extension that I'm talking about. Does that make sense? Okay, so it's a constant battle for a pitcher. I can guarantee when you guys throw balls, it's because this front shoulder flies open. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you that when we get up to the mound. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a balance the stride drill. This is probably the most important drill there is in pitching. A lot of it we just did, but now we gotta do it from this position here. Who knows, why does a pitcher lift his leg like this? It has to do with power. I saw a couple of you guys when we were doing our drills, you were like, you lifted that leg up when you threw it because you want to get more power. Okay? That's why you do it. Okay? So we want to make sure we lift our knee up to our belt, toe points down. Common thing I see when I do pitching lessons, see where my foot is? Okay? That's not good. Okay? That, that's putting you in a weak position. It's also promoting this type of stride. What's wrong with the stride, guys? Pretty simple. As a pitch, you want to try to keep everything in a straight line, but it's difficult because you're looking at the catcher's glove. So a lot of the stuff has to be done without a baseball. Dry like I'm doing it. Okay? That's why you see these lines. Alright, we call this balance to stride. We want to work on a line. Balance. Stride. Okay? So that's a lot of things you have to do at home to get good at it. You don't, you don't just get good at going to the field, you do it at home without a baseball. Does that make sense? Okay? So in one second, we're going to go from balance to stride. What do you notice? I keep my weight where? Back, and I'm in a nice straight line. And what did I land on? Inside of my big toe, so I get my nose over my toes. Okay? So the two important steps in pitching with is balance is here and here. Do you understand that? Okay. What prevents me from getting over my front leg? Usually it's my or my stride. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go back with our partners. If you don't have the baseball, you're the catcher. Okay, if you have the baseball, you're the pitcher. So we're gonna have to nice and soft so we'll keep it our way back. Okay, let's try it guys. Okay, ready, balance? Okay, lift up. Okay. Stride. Hold on, let's do it again. Guys, we want to make sure that when we stride, watch coach. That my, when my hands go down, my leg goes down. So watch this. this. Everyone see that? Okay, when my hands go down, my leg goes down. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Balance. Okay, lift up. Stride. Up. We'll do balance twice. Say stride. Now we're together. Let's do it again. Together, look. Together. Okay? Together. Wait for me to say stride, though. Put the knee up. Say stride. Freeze. Ask yourself, is my weight back? Am I on top of the baseball? Is my weight back? Am I on top of the baseball? So you guys are all forward. 
You'll look at me all the way up to your belt. See how your body is right now? You get a come on. You make it complicated. Stay right here. Okay, elbows in, elbows in. Slight angle. Perfect, right there. You lean it back though, you're working against. There you go. Okay, ready, balance? And go. Guys, what, you want to be able to balance for a good 10 seconds. Look at that, a little bit of an angle. Okay, this helps you keep your, your weight back. It, it doesn't, uh, you know, you, your body always wants to drift forward when you just lift your leg up. So bring it back at a little bit of an angle. Okay, does everyone see this? Good. That's good. Okay, let's go to our balance. Look at your target. Look at your target and go. Tuck the glove, right? Tuck in the glove, keeps that shoulder closed and on your target bump. Okay, feet close together. Okay, balance. Okay, go. Remember. Guys, you never ever as a pitcher want that glove to go behind you. You always want it in front to pull yourself to the glove. Do you ever understand that? Yeah. Not to mention, you want that glove handy if that ball is hit back to you. Okay? So it does two things. It keeps that shoulder closed, and it also gives you a little protection like if the ball is hit back to you. Okay? Okay, next guy. I want you to do this twice to put it on the balance position. Go! This is the right one. Oh my god. Extension of front, okay? Up. I'll let you guys do wind up next one, alright? Alright, ready? Go! You never got over that leg. Okay, ready? You guys give me four seam grip. Okay, go! All when I'm done? No. No. Okay, some, some, some of you guys are throwing the ball. Okay? And once again, you're not getting any help from your trunk. Okay? You're throwing all upper body. We want to make sure when we throw that we're getting our nose over our toes. Okay? And we're not tall anymore. Everyone understand that? Let's go back to that first drill we did. One, two, okay? When I'm, when I'm done, look like I finish. Okay? So let's take that finish with us up here on the mound. Okay? Let's finish the same way we did in that first drill. Go. Good, just gonna tuck that glove. Tuck it. Okay. Come up front, I'll show you something. You guys are gonna do. Okay? Come up front. Okay? So when you're taking your, when you're doing your rock, then first off you wanna stop your motion balance. Okay? When you're pitching, the whole sequence of pitching is done in a controlled manner. Okay? So you don't want to be in a hole, okay? You don't want to be in the hole, you want to start down. Okay? Press the ball. Okay. So you notice right now, where's my chin? Is my chin in this line right here? Okay? Now watch if I take a big rocker step, you tell me if my chin's in the line anymore. Nope. But now when I do my pivots, I gotta come back in the line, don't I? You know what that's called? Wasted, wasted motion. Bombs. I don't need this. Okay. Right now, it's gonna hurt me because now I gotta come get my balance again. Do this. Okay. Take a small rocker step. Okay. Whether it's back. How's my chin right now, guys? Still in line? Okay. How about if I go like this? Still in line? Okay. And all that is is me cutting down my rocker step by a little bit. Okay? Does this get me any extra power as a pitcher? Does this? So basically, those two steps, they're not going to give you any power, but they can hurt you. Okay? So you want to make sure you're doing it the right way. Okay? If you're going to do your rocker pivot. You ever understand that? Okay? Stay in the line. Pivot, rocker, pivot. Okay? Still in the line. Still line, still line. Look at my chin. It's getting in line the whole time. That's what I'm throwing. Okay? So cut down on your rocker steps so you stay over the, over your pivot foot and over the rubber a little more. 
Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Do I get my heels in the side after I throw? Get a little back hip rotation. Okay. Wrist down. Then we did our upper body throwing drill where we did our one point our front shoulder. Two thumbs down and away. Nice big arm circle. Get good arm extension. Okay. Three tuck throw, fall through. How's my shoulder, guys? Down. All right. Shoulder goes down. Okay. Back of the throwing shoulder face our target. And then we did our weight shift and transfer. Okay. Wide feet. Weight goes back. And then we tuck throw and fall through. Okay. And then what do we do? The three steps of playing catch. One and one, two and two, three and three. And then what do we do for our pitching drills? Balance the stride, right? Balance, stride, then tuck throw and fall through. Any questions, for coach? I know I threw a lot at you, but hopefully next, maybe if you come again, we can build off what we did today, get more time off the mound, and really start to, to dice.